Alrighty, welcome back to the NFL Pick Series. Before we get the picks in for the conference championships, Tenza is just submitting his picks. He will have no audio this week. Sorry for no audio for the rest of the weeks. We got bogged down with a ton of shit. To deal with the Geo Knows Awards, the third annual Geo Knows Awards, go vote for me. I got nominated for Best Editing and Production again. I won last year, so let's make that two in a row if we can. And we also got nominated for Best Duo, myself and Tenza. So if you think we were that good all season... Let them know. You will go to the link and go to Geo Nose's channel. I'll put the link in the description. Go to the latest video for the nominations for the third annual Geo Nose and put Hatbox in for best editing and put best duo Hatbox and Tenza. Hopefully we win. We'll let you guys know and we'll get on with the picks. I'm going to run a little Super Bowl contest for everybody that's watching this video. Um, I was just going to do, uh, I'm going to ask you guys a question and whoever gets it right, I'll put your name in a pool and then I'll pick a name out and the winner will get to analyze the Super Bowl with myself and Tenza for our Super Super Bowl video. It usually does really well, so you can get your name out there, show your side of the picks, see who you're picking, see who your MVP is, all that stuff. But the question is, out of the 15 videos that I posted this season, which team was featured more than all the other teams? There's three teams that were featured the same amount, and it's more than all the other teams. Out of the 15 videos, which teams are they? All you have to do is name one. You can't put it in more than twice. It doesn't matter if you put all three. That's cool, too. But as long as somebody puts the correct comment for at least one of the teams, I'll put your name into a pool, and I'll pick it out like that. This does not include the upset picks. The upset picks were totally different. They weren't featured games. We did four featured games a week. You have to figure out which three teams were featured more throughout the whole season and just name one of them. It's as simple as that. So if you get to do that, you get to analyze the Super Bowl with myself and Tenza. The Seahawks took down the Saints, thanks to Marcus Colston, and will now verse the 49ers for the third time this season. The first match that these two teams versed each other in Seattle, the Seahawks arose victorious at a score of 29-3. The second time they played was a much different story when the 49ers won 19-17. This game will be decided by who has the more high-octane offense. The defenses will play amazingly in this game, should be a close scoring game. Give the edge of the Seahawks for having the home field advantage and the more powerful offense. When you look across the board, their offensive skill positions resemble one another to a T. They are 100% like each other. The wild card player in the game, I think, is going to be Russell Wilson. I must admit that I think Wilson is highly overrated, being he's only been in the NFL for a few years now, but I also admit that he's a damn good football player. Kaepernick, in my eyes, is just a straight-up douche, and that was proven over the comparison of the Instagram pictures. But look for the Seattle to attack the 49ers defense with their passing game, as well as Russell Wilson running the ball and Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch rushed rushes for over 100 yards, and Russell Wilson throws for over 300 yards. Seahawks win 21-17. Well, I guess the NFL got what they wanted when the officiating crew favored the home team last week as Denver took down San Diego and the Patriots D put away Andrew Luck's sophomore season. Looking at this Manning versus Brady matchup, that may be the only headline you hear this week when it comes to this game. Yes, it is in Denver, and Denver is a very strong football team on offense, and their defense is improving, but the advantage goes to the Patriots defense. They gave Andrew Luck hell last week, and they will do the same thing to Peyton. The Patriots found the rhythm in the run game with LeGarrette Blunt after he rushed for four touchdowns, but do not think to jump on the LeGarrette Blunt wagon. Three of Blunt's TDs came from, from a two-yard line going into the end zone. The only impressive run was the 73-yard touchdown run. The Patriots' passing game is just as strong as Denver's because Tom Brady has taken no-name wide receivers and made them into the one of the stronger units of the NFL, whereas Peyton Manning has the greatest wide receiver core in the NFL this season. It will come down to the defense defense that bends but does not break. The Broncos defense is finally coming into view while the Patriots defense has found their hot streak and will continue their stride into Denver. Pat Stee holds Manning to under 250 yards and Peyton throws two interceptions. Patriots win 35-28. 